Commission will come to order. Roll call. Roll call. Danny Wiley. Present. Charlie Ramirez. Present. Jonathan Lacada. Romero Robles. Can you hear me? Romero oh. Robles. Okay. Romero Robles. Rafael Manguea. Present. Luis Maguian. Andy Castro. Present. Guadalupe Cano. Present. Okay. We have a quorum. Okay. Thank you. I need a Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion to excuse the absentees. Okay. I'll second that. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Okay, the motion carries. Public testimony. Anybody signed up? No one has signed up, Mr. Chairman. Okay, thank you. We'll go on to the next item. Approval of the minutes of August 22nd, 2022. We are requested to table the minutes. Okay. I need a motion to table the, those minutes. I'll make a motion to table last meeting's minutes. Okay. Second. Second. Okay, all those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Okay, the motion carries. Public hearing. Let me take the pen. Oh, there you go. Good evening. My name is Sanaí Salicerio, Planner 2 for the City of Far. Tonight we have two items for your recommendation. Item number one. Angle Holdings Inc. has filed with the Planning and Zoning Commission a request for a change of zone from residential multifamily high density district RMFHD to single family residential district R1 in order to develop and construct single family dwellings. The subject site is located on the west side of North Sugar Road, approximately 330 feet north of West Minnesota Road and has a physical address of 5414 North Sugar Road. The property is legally described as being Olive Lot 6, Tri-City Acre Subdivision, Far Hidalgo County, Texas. The property fronts North Sugar Road, a 70-foot minor collector with a posted speed limit of 30 miles per hour or less as identified in the City of Far's thoroughfare plan. The property is currently zoned Residential Multifamily High Density District, RMFHD. The property and the properties and the properties to the north, south, east, and west were zoned to Agricultural and or Open Space District 80 when the properties were annexed to the City of Far on March 6, 1984. On August 25, 2015, the subject property was rezoned to Residential Multifamily High Density District RMFHD. A portion of the property to the west was rezoned to General Business District C on November 20, 2012. Later, the remaining portion to the west was rezoned to Single Family Residential District R1 on September 8, 2020. The properties to the east were rezoned to Single Family Residential District R1 on March 20, 2017. There have been no zoning requests in the general vicinity since that time. The property is generally designated for commercial and single family use in the land use plan. The single family district is intended to be composed of single family dwellings together with public denominational and private schools, churches, and public parks is essential to create basic neighborhood units. Areas that are zoned for this use shall have water, wastewater, drainage, and access to paved streets based on single family usage. It is intended for areas that are properly buffered from non-residential uses and protected from pollution and or environmental hazards or from high volume of non-single family traffic. 20 letters were mailed out to the surrounding property owners within a 200-foot radius on August 26, 2022, and a legal notice was published in the Advanced News Journal on August 24, 2022. Staff, was, staff received one response to the letter for information only. Development Services is recommending approval of the request to rezone to single-family residential district R1 as the property meets area requirements, is aligned with the future land use plan, and has adequate ingress and egress. If approved, the owner must comply with all city ordinances and city department requirements. This item will go before the city commission meeting of September 19, 2022 at 4 p.m. And we do not have representation. Okay. This item requires a public hearing. Is there anybody signed up to speak on the affected area? Yes, sir. There is one individual signed up. 
th they are not present. They're not present? Okay, then we'll close the public hearing, open up the item to board discussion. No discussion? None? Okay, we'll close the board discussion, open up the floor for a motion. I'll make, it I'll make a motion to approve, Chairman. I'll second. Second, okay, all those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Okay, the motion carries. Next item. Baye Investments and Holdings LOC doing business as Calacas Tacos and Beer has followed with the Planning and Zoning Commission a request for a conditional use permit and late hours permit to allow the sale of alcoholic beverages for on premise consumption in a general business district C. The property is legally described as being 0 0.062 acres more or less out of lot one. Junction View Subdivision, Far Hidalgo County, Texas. The property's physical address is 2101 North Cage Boulevard, Suite 110 and 111. The property is currently zoned General Business District C. The surrounding area is zoned General Business District C to the north, south, east, and west. This area is generally designated for commercial use in the land use plan. Police, fire, code, health, and planning are pending inspection of the conditional use permit Please note that this uh, construction is ongoing, so at the time of the final the construction, um, we would conduct all the inspections. The hours of operations will be from Monday through Thursday from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m., Friday and Saturday from 11 a.m. to 12 a.m., and Sunday 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. 11 letters were mailed out to the surrounding property owners within the 300-foot radius on August 26, 2022, an illegal notice was published in the Advanced June's Journal on t August 24, 2022. Staff received no response to the letters or the legal notice. Development services recommending approval of the conditional use and late hours permit and to allow the sale of alcoholic beverages for on-premise consumption in a general business district C, subject to applicant and site being in compliance with all city ordinances and city department requirements. This item will go before the City Commission meeting of September 19, 2022 at 4 p.m. And we do have representation. Okay, does the applicant have any comments at this time? No? Okay, this item requires a public hearing. Is there anybody from the affected area signed up to speak on this item? No one has, no one in the affected area has signed up, Mr. Chairman. Okay, thank you. We'll close the public hearing, open up the item for board discussion. I have a question. Are we, um, is all this is pending? Police, fire, and inspectors pending. Mm -hmm. So they bring it up to us to approve it? I mean, if, if they're pending, what can something, we approve it and then something's not, I have, I have a question on that. So we, c the, because it's in construction, they cannot go at the site and conduct once it's ready for the inspections. Um, we can put a condition that, that the condition where they have to meet all city requirements and city departments. So one of the departments were to say, hey, you cannot open until this, and they have a report that it was denied. They cannot move forward, and they will not get the actual conditional use permit until they address what's pending. So even if, uh, even if us uh, here approve it, you'll hold it until everything is pending? Yes, because it's pending the inspections. Yes, but. Uh, are we going to approve something if it's not approved by them? Oh, that's you for know. them to, to apply yes. for the beer yes. permit. Yes. Is that right? Is yes, because right? so what they're applying for is for them to be able to have the alcohol for mm -hmm. you us to allow it. Now that it's in construction, once fire department, um, building safety, and all that go out there and they've done the inspec inspections. Then you'll give them a permit. Then they, ha yes, we'll give them the permit when they also apply for their business license because okay. they'll still have to okay. do okay. that as well. Okay. So we're within the right sequence, I guess is what Ann was yes. asking. Yes, this is, this is the normal that we get for new restaurants that are coming in in these vacant plazas and they're just like, hey, mm -hmm. I want to lease out one suite, two suites, three suites, and they're finishing the construction. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Any further questions? Discussion? No. None. Mr. Chairman, I move to approve. Okay, let me close the board discussion. We'll okay, open for a motion. Open the floor for a motion. Mr. Chairman, I move to approve. I'll second. Second, okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Okay, the motion carries. 
Thank you. Good evening, Commissioners. For the record, my name is Heberto Martinez, Planner 2 for the City of Far. Tonight we have uh, six plats for your recommendation. Um, plat number one, applicant Salinas Engineering, representing Oliver E. Gutierrez and Enrique Gutierrez Cantu. Owners are requesting final plat approval of the proposed Oliver subdivision. The property is legally described as being a 1.08 acre track of uh, land out of lot seven. Uh, block 5, A.J. McCaw, subdivision, Far Hidalgo County, Texas. The property is, is located within the 3,000 3, block of North Jackson Road. The property is currently zoned General Business District C. The adjacent zones are Agricultural Open Space District, AO to the north and south, Heavy Commercial District, HC to the east, and city, and city limits to the west. The property is designated for commercial use in the land use uh, plan. Property proposed use, a car lot. Uh, variances, not requested. Development services recommends final plot approval uh, of the proposed Oliver uh, subdivision subject to the following conditions uh, set before you. Also, this item will go before the City Commission meeting of September the 19th, 2022 at 4 p.m. And we don't have representation in the audience. Okay, this item does not require a public hearing, so we we'll go ahead and open up the board discussion. I have a question. The, yes, um, is there a separate parking lot in front of this? No, sir. It's just a standalone lot. If there's no so existing. If people stop to look at vehicles and stuff, they're going to be parking on the side of Jackson? No, sir. There should be uh, an ingress and an egress into the property. They should come in. They should have like uh, the dealerships, uh, individual uh, parking stalls, and they need to go in, park where they need to park, and then g they can get off and look around. Okay, because there's a lot of traffic on Jackson. I mean, Correct. Yes. Sir. Okay. Any more discussion? No. No. Okay, we'll close the board discussion. Open up the floor for a motion. Make a, I'll make a motion for approval, Mr. Chairman. I'll second that. Second. Okay, all those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Okay, the motion carries. Okay, next item, applicant, Milden Hunt Inc. Represent, representing Jeffrey Erickson, manager for Erickson Construction, LLC, a Texas limited liability company, is requesting final plat approval of the proposed Minnesota estate subdivision. The property is legally described as being a 15.455 acre track out of lot 91, Kelly Fire Subdivision, Fire uh, Eval County, Texas. The property is located within the 600 block of West Minnesota Road. The property is currently zoned resident, uh, Residential Multifamily District, RMF. The adjacent zones are Residential Townhouse District, RTH, and Single Family Residential District, R1 to the north, Residential Multifamily District, RMF to the east, Single Family Residential District, R1 to the west, and a Agricultural Open Space District, A to the south. The property is designated for, uh, for commercial use in the land use plan. Uh, property proposed use, multifamily, variances, non requested. Oh, let me see. Development Services re uh, recommends final plan approval of the proposed Minnesota State Subdivision subject to the following conditions set before you. Okay, this item does not require a public <coughs> hearing, so we'll go ahead and open up the item to board discussion. I just had one question related to the moratorium. Was that extended, guys, that was done with? Thank you. Okay, no further discussion? Okay, we'll close the discussion. Op board discussion, open up the floor for a motion. Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion for approval. Second. Second. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Okay, the motion carries. Next item, applicant mass engineering LLC representing Armando Gonzalez owner is requesting final plan approval 
of the proposed Roja subdivision. The property is legally described as being a 0 0.25 acre tract of land out of the north 99 feet, of the south 198 feet, of the north 448 feet, of the east 220 feet, of the west 297 feet, of, uh, of lot 233 Kelly Far subdivision Far Hidalgo County, Texas. The property is located within the 1200 block of West Hall Acres Road. The property is currently zoned single family residential district R1. The adjacent zones are General Business District C to the north and single family residential district R1 to the east, south, and west. The property is uh, des designated for single family residential use in the land use plan, property proposed use, residential lot, variances not requested. Development service recommends a final plan approval of the proposed Roja subdivision subject to the following conditions set before you. Also, this item will go before the City Commission meeting of September the 19th, 2022 at 4 p.m. and we don't have representation in the audience. Okay, this item is not required public hearing, so we'll go ahead and open up the board discussion. Question. Yes, the, sir. Uh, the north side of the line where it buds up to the commercial, is there going to be a buffer required there? Uh, if they do build, uh, Chairman, Mr. Chairman, yes, they were going to have to build a, uh, a buffer fence. The commercial the, will. Correct. Right now, as you can see on the area, we do have a residential home. If they do build a commercial uh, business, they will need to have a buffer. Okay. Thank you. Yes, sir. Further questions? I just have one question on egress. Yes, sir. It says here it's in compliance. Yes, sir. Would they have to pave if they... Go ahead and move forward with the like a build out or how does that work they have a all weather surface road which is millions so has that a fire department is okay and public works and engineering they're in compliance correct with that. Okay. yes sir because it's already an existing now uh, yeah i see there's more houses correct the back yes sir perfect thank yes, you mm -hmm. okay we'll close the board discussion open up the floor for motion i'll make a motion to approve chairman second 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 Okay, all those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Okay, the motion carries. Okay, next item, applicant Pablo Soto, <clears throat> Jr. PE, representing Lisandro Espinosa, yes. owner, is a requesting preliminary and final plan approval of the proposed Leland Heights Estate Subdivision. The property is legally described as being a 0 0.48 acre tract of land, more or less, out of lot 175 Kelly Far Subdivision, Far Eval County, Texas. The property is physically located at 220 North of Sugar Road. Uh, the property is, is currently zoned single family residential district R1. The adjacent zones are single family residential district R1 to the north, east, south, and west. The property is designated for public semi-public use in the land use plan, property proposed use, single family resi uh, residence, variances, not requested, uh, development services recommends preliminary and final plan approval of the proposed Leland Heights Estate subdivision subject to the following conditions set before you. Also, this item will go before the city commission meeting of uh, September the 19, 2022 at 4 p.m. We don't have one. It's not required public hearing, so we'll go ahead and open up the board discussion. No discussion? Okay, we'll close the board discussion, open up the floor for a motion. Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion for approval. I'll second that. Okay, all those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Okay, the motion carries. Chairman, I want to abstain from the next um, item. Okay. We have on our agenda. Okay, next uh, item, applicant Quintanilla Haley and Associates, Inc., representing Eduardo Tuncu, Vice President of Esponjas Development, LTD, is requesting preliminary and final plan approval of the proposed vacate and uh, plat of Maria uh, Elise Estate Subdivision. The property is legally described as being an 18.07 acre tract of land, 
mean all of lots one through 74 and all of the 50 foot street right of ways. Maria Elise, El Elise State Subdivision, Florida County, Texas. Uh, the property is uh, located within the 700 block of East Owasa Road. The property is currently zoned single family residential district R1. The adjacent zones are city limits to the north, limited industri industrial district LI to the east, single family residential district R1 to the south, and uh, agricultural in or open space district AO, and limited industrial district LI to the west. The property is designated for industrial use in the land use plan. Property propose, proposed use, existing single family residential subdivision, variances, none requested. Development service recommends preliminary and final plot approval. Uh, the proposed vacate and plot of Maria Ince uh, estates the subdivision subject to the following conditions separate for you. Also, this item will go before the City Commission uh, meeting on September the 19th, 2022 at 4 p.m. And for the record, we do have representation in the audience. Okay, thank you. This item does not require a public hearing, so we'll go ahead and open up the item to board discussion. No questions, comments, none? Okay, we'll close the board discussion and open up the floor for a motion. Mr. Chairman, I move to approve. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Okay, the motion carries. Okay. Next item, applicant Pablo Soto Jr. PE representing Noe Porneda. Owner is requesting preliminary plat approval at the proposed Lily Sofia State Subdivision. The property is legally described as being a one acre tract of land being the west half of the lot 50 and, and 51. Um, addition to Las Milpas subdivision. Far Hidalgo County, Texas, the property is located within the 300 block of West Risenor Avenue. The property is currently zoned ra residential multifamily district, RMF. The adjacent zones are residential multifamily high density district, RMF HD to the north, and uh, residential multifamily district, RMF to the east, south, and west. The property is designated for single family residential use and the land use plan. Property proposed use, it's a two lot single family home uh, per lot. Uh, variances, not requested. Uh, development services recommends preliminary plan approval. Uh, the proposed Lily Sophia Estates uh, subdivisions subject to the following conditions separate for you. And no, we don't have representation on the audience. Okay, this item does not require a public hearing, so we'll go ahead and open up the item to board discussion. No discussion? Okay, we'll close the board discussion and open up the floor for a motion. Chairman, I'll make a motion for approval. Second. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Okay, the motion carries. Thank you, Commissioner. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, announcements and other business. None? Okay. Only one left. Mr. Chairman. German. Yes, sir. I move to adjourn. Okay. I second. I second. Okay, all those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Okay, the